Okay, this is uh, this is a Dairy Mart. This is some old school refrigeration. This is uh, an old Don and Bush compressor, old belt driven. And here's a standard Copeland uh, semi hermetic compressor. There's a, a number of them in here. Over the years, this Dairy Mart, uh, they got away from the dairy cases and frozen food cases, and now they just have two walk-in beer coolers. And uh, I changed a couple condenser fans motors today. They both were out, so it's still R22 in the system. This compressor was put in in 2001. If you see the serial number, The 01 in the beginning is the year that it was, uh, it was made. But uh, this is old school. Now, this is a little tidbit. Cats, uh, cats used to get caught in these fans and smear the fins up there. I've seen some nightmares in some like little meat markets. But um, the Dun & Bush was made in West Hartford, Connecticut. And he had a guy, an employee working for him that said, why don't you put the motor inside the compressor housing and uh, have a direct drive from the motor shaft to the um, compressor shaft because this has a seal in it back here and this seal would leak. But the, uh, the owner of Dun & Bush didn't like the idea of putting a motor inside the thing. He, t he told this guy to go back on the factory line. Well, the guy, he left Dun & Bush and went to Sydney, Ohio <laughs> and his name was Copeland and he started the Copeland Compressor Company and he did exactly what he wanted to do. He put the motor inside the housing with the compressor and one crankshaft in there. He eliminated the flywheels but uh, that's, that's an old standard long time ago. My father did a lot of them. There was a lot of companies too. GE had them, Westinghouse, Frigidaire made them. And uh, the the beauty of these old things is, is this one probably still works fine. The beauty is, is the piston rods in them are made of bronze. Uh, I don't know if this one was, but prior to this, they were all bronze and they just wouldn't go bad. So they changed over to, they're all aluminum now. The early ones, I believe, were bronze on these, but um, back in the 50s. But now they're all aluminum, and and in some of the newer compressors, the aluminum is not that good. They'll break very easily, especially if you flood back to the compressor. You'll jam liquid into the compressor, and uh, the piston sleeves are only it's designed for a uh, gas. And when you get liquid in there, you start slugging liquid back, and you get liquid in there, there's too much hydraulics in it. It'll bust up the, the piston rods, the, uh, the valve plates in them. Everything just gets shattered. It's pretty nasty sometimes. But uh, I used to rebuild these, the Copelands, and I used to see a nightmare. Now, in a couple of my videos, I drilled into the copper line to put a, um, to put a, a service valve in. And I got some copper filings in there. A couple of people were horrified by that. And actually, well, this 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 compressor here has a screen on it here, so it'll catch anything like that. The dryer filters, uh, there's the dryer filter there. The dryer filter has, uh, on the inlet, it has felt and screen, very fine screen mesh. So anything like that will get caught in the dryer filter. And the expansion valve has a screen in it that will catch it. When you change these compressors and you take this off and you pull this strainer out, it's a stainless steel strainer, you get, um, you find uh, bits of solder from soldering a connection. You find bits of brazing, little BBs of brazing rod. You don't realize it, but when you braze a line, you uh, drip little BBs in the line and that floats around. What I found was when I was rebuilding these, the oil sump, the bottom of the oil sump, you take this apart, there'd be copper filings in there. It looked like copper dust. 
Uh, there'd be pieces of um, aluminum from the uh, uh, piston rods down there. It, it could, but, but what happens is the little bits of metal that do get into, say, a hermetic compressor, the little bits of metal will sit at the very bottom of the sump underneath the oil and it'll just stay there forever until the compressor gets changed. So I, I, you don't really have to get crazy about uh, not getting copper filings in the line. You, like I said, when you braze lines, you get solder and BBs, uh, uh, brazing BBs in the line. And it, that ends up in the bottom of the compressor. But anyways, this is, I just want to, I was kind of, uh, this first time I worked in this store here, this new customer. Uh, and it was kind of interesting to see this old school, good old fashioned, uh, when I was a kid type thing. This, all my father did was when he was when he was younger, getting started in his business, everything was back in the late 40s, early 50s. Everything was uh, belt driven. It used to be ammonia belt driven. Those things were nasty. I remember uh, in New Haven, Connecticut, an old meat market. It's called Ferraro Supermarket. They were, um, I think it was Grand Avenue. No, no, no. They were over. I forgot which street that was, but. Uh, they had an old building, and uh, down in the basement, uh, all the compressors in the big cellar was ammonia. And boy, it stunk really bad. I couldn't breathe down there so bad. And there's some old old Italian guy uh, that worked there in the pro store. I mean, he's down there at a little table. That was their, their lunch table. <laughs> he was eating his lunch in, in his old dirty basement with uh, the ammonia around. I couldn't, he was used to it, you know. But, um, then Ferraro's moved. I installed that store um, on Grand and Hamilton uh, in New Haven, Connecticut. Back in the early 70s, you put a whole brand new store in. I think it's been remodeled since then. But this is Dairy Mart. They got exhaust fans up on the roof. I don't even know if they work. But they put an air conditioning system, one of the air conditioners or the main air conditioner in the sto inside the compressor room. These louvers are supposed to be open for the summertime. That's uh, probably the next call I get will be on that. But all these compressors are not being used anymore. The Kramer compressors. This is all, a lot of old school stuff. I think these are all McRae. Oh, look at that, the old McRae condensing units. Okay, well, Later, guys.